Hello and welcome to this video from the Philippines and I wanted to film this for you guys to show you how we collect our drinking water while we're here because we drink from these big blue five gallon water bottles that are shipped in from the mainland here in the Philippines and we have to do this because the groundwater supply here on the island is brackish which means it's slightly salty because we're on such a small island and there isn't a huge source of fresh groundwater, so it's slightly brackish. The more the um, water table goes down, the more fresh water that's used, the more salty this water will get as well. So we have to drink from these bottles and I wanted to show you guys how we collect them because it is not so straightforward and purely having a ration and not being able to get amazing quality drinking water from the tap is surprisingly difficult and it puts a strain on the amount that you're drinking and the amount of time you're spending just thinking about drinking water. So I want to show you guys how we get it and yeah, follow along to see. So these are deposit bottles, so you have to return them and then they take them back, clean them out and refill them so it's not single use plastic. When it is this hot, it kind of sucks even more getting wet. I don't think we've done Thank you. 
question. So this will last us maybe four or five days. Because we're here drinking lots in the sun but also cooking with it. So cooking in pasta. collecting the water. It's just annoying having to think of it every time that we cook or drink. You have to think how much water is left and plan in collecting the next lot when it's not too hot. Um, which surprisingly takes up a lot of decision making and definitely not as easy as just turning the tap on. And we're very, very, very careful with drinking water because we are paying relatively a lot for it and it's come a long way to You've got a big ant on you. How are you feeling? It's hot. No. Sweaty, gross. There's no backup supply, no emergency. We run out of our blue bottle. We have to go and get another one because we only have one for the deposit. So, yeah, it's tiring. And that's taken maybe 15 minutes out of the day just to go and get drinking water. So, not only is that physically 15 minutes every four or five days, but it's also the time thinking about when we need water, planning much of our day and our lives around the availability of water, which sounds very dramatic and over the top, but it really does take up brain space and decision making process space. Just thinking about our water and uh, not having it on the tap when we turn it on to cook with and to make teas and coffees and just to drink. Um, so yeah, it's a good exercise in realising how amazing it is having tap water um, out of the tap when you turn it on. It's crazy how many people buy bottled water when they don't have to. Um, we certainly wouldn't be buying this if we needed, didn't need it for survival. So. Yeah. Cool, so at home, the bottle's inside. Um, so it comes with a little bit of single-use plastic. Um, this is really important to prove that it is from the sanitation facility. So annoying bit of plastic, but all of the ones so far have gone into our eco brick. So this is the pump. It's very, very simple. It's like a big straw. So we put it in, it normally a bit leaks out, and then it will 
Okay. So, um, okay. And I'm cooking a lentil soup at the moment, so. Voila!